Hey, this is our eighth grade open house curriculum overview for the STEM Academy of Bartlett. Welcome to 2020, 2021. Hey, this is not going to be like what we had in the spring. There will be a schedule. Attendance will be taken every day for every class. So you can see the schedules here. For physical science, for our particular curriculum, we normally would have taught physical science in eighth grade, but there is also a high school physical science course, and that is the one that we are teaching here at STEM. It is a high school course. There will be high school credit. Um, there's a big difference between eighth grade and high school physical science. In eighth grade, we focus on what? In high school, we focus on what, how and why. Um, eighth grade is an introduction and connection to elementary and high school is a connection to what you would typically learn in eighth grade and an extending and applying it. Uh, the role of the student in eighth grade would be more of a passive participant. What's the problem? What's the answer? And in high school, you have to be an active problem solver. How do I solve this? Why do I solve this? And showing how you do that. Here are our standards. Our eighth, our eighth grade ELA course is called Ninth Grade Composition and Literature. This is a high school level course where students are um, challenged and demonstrate their mastery with critical literacy, as well as the skillful communication of their ideas. So there you see the composition plus the literature. Our daily activities in class um, draw upon the five strands of literacy. These are skills like reading, writing, speaking, listening, and critical thinking, all of which are integrated into the activities and assessments that we do. The high school credit um, is rigorous but attainable with relevant content and skill to prepare the students for college and the workplace but it's also age appropriate. The major assessments that guide instructions are the map reading, which focuses on fluency and comprehension, and EOC, which is a percentage of the student's final grade. For math in eighth grade, all eighth graders will take honors algebra one. This is considered a high school credit course. Concepts that will be learned in this course are concepts that expand on middle grades, middle grade math, specifically seventh and eighth grade math. And within the context, we are also going to focus on the eighth mathematical practices. So making sense of problems and persevering through them, listening abstractly, um, constructing viable arguments. Uh, modeling math, using appropriate tools, attending to precision, looking for and making use of structures, and then looking for and expressing regularity in repeated reasoning. And these are the topics that will be covered this year. For social studies, in the eighth grade, social studies is Georgia studies. This is American history from the lens of Georgia. We will also cover basic economics and government and how they specifically apply to Georgia. This is the only true eighth grade class that you'll have. However, it will be taught with high school rigor. The rest of your courses are high school subjects. That said, failure of Georgia studies can cause you to be retained in the eighth grade and at your home school. Here are the units that we will be covering throughout the year. Eighth grade research, the students are expected to be leaders in science inquiry. And these young leaders are supposed to do that by questioning the natural world by making observations, creating questions to lead through exp their exploration, discovery, and acquisition of knowledge. So the research program is going to be 
participating in science investigations that are hands-on, collecting data, and the school-wide science fair. Uh, science fair has been traditional, um, but what's going to change a little bit is that they are participating more in explorations that are related to the subject of chemistry, which is a part of the physical science course, as well as the physics exploration, which would be the other component. And then obviously the eighth grade grand challenge, uh, which relates to urban infrastructure in the grand challenges of engineering um, and the tiny house project. And these are an overview of the units.